again, and welcome to your favorite show, The Sports Box. The only opinion that matters. Uh, <laughs> you faked me out, huh? That's right, I faked you out. Where the only opinion that matters is right here. I am Mike Galletta, a.k.a. have to Mike, along with my partner, Brian, the Ranger of Tark. Brian, how are you today? You didn't see that coming. No. Yeah. No. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Good. But you know what, Brian? I was thinking, more and more popular nowadays is a sports box, and man, you can get us everywhere. Absolutely. Everywhere. We, we want to definitely thank all of you who have been subscribing this week. Yes, we've seen our numbers really uh, blow up recently. want to thank everybody for your support. If you haven't yet, not sure what you're waiting for, click that subscribe now in the top right. Everybody else is doing it. But uh, we're also on social media everywhere else. We are on Twitter, at Sportsbox Show, where Mike does a really nice job of breaking news stories in case you know you haven't really seen stuff come out there. Mike does a really nice job making sure that the breaking news stories are right there on our Twitter feed and Facebook as well at Sportsbox Show, where we interact with our fans. Uh, we, we can post polls of the day, different things that we're doing. There, you may want to have some interest in as well. So basically, we're everywhere. Make sure you're finding us. And remember, you keep an eye out for our sponsor. He does a great job for us, uh, DJ Cruz, aka Anthony Cruz. For all your DJ party needs, give him a call 609 513 6395. He'll take care of you. Tell him you talk about sports box today. Today, we're going to talk about the NHL news and notes around the league. I'm going to kick it off, and uh, unfortunately, the Columbus streak is over 15 consecutive games they've won. Unbelievable streak. One short of the record, actually, by the way. They, a big loss to Washington, 5 nothing. But, you know, John Tortorella said it's a very long season. Still got a long way to go. Um, you know, very young team. Nick Foligno, um, you know, um, Hartnell. Got guys on there that have really stepped up and really kept this streak going. Folks, it's a long season. It's, even though it's 15 in a row, I think what you got to look at is that they don't fall off the cliff now. They just keep it steady and build on this. I think it's definitely the way to go. Yeah, you know, it's it's a year where we've seen a couple of teams kind of come out of nowhere and have really long double-digit winning streaks. Minnesota uh, was yep. up there as well. The Flyers have won 10 in a row. Yep. Um, you know, so it, it's interesting to kind of see that happen throughout the league. I'm not sure if there's a reason for it, um, but it, it's good to see some of these teams that maybe haven't been that good for a couple years, you know, vault themselves. You know, Columbus right now uh, is the Vegas favorite to win the whole thing. Yep. I, I don't know so know that you can take a winning streak and you know extrapolate it to playoff success. I've never won a playoff series in franchise history. Um, it'll be interesting. We'll see how they kind of respond to this. I think they're going to be just fine. I like their roster. Yeah. Uh, they do have a lot of young players as well, so I think it's the, the future. I, uh, I do stand corrected. I'm sorry. It's 16 in a row. 16 in a row. Um, there's also a, a lot of trade rumors right now involving some of the, the heavy hitters in the league. Uh, what you're hearing right now is that the New York Rangers, I have a vested interest, uh, are looking possibly to trade for a top four defenseman. Uh, you're hearing the name Derek Stepan kind of... Uh, you know, out there on, on a fishing pole trying to dangling, see what you can get for him. Uh, I, I would assume, Mike, that if, if Stepan was moved, you probably would see Zabanajad, JT Miller, and Kevin Hayes as the three centers. Uh, I personally don't think the Rangers get a top four defense. I'm going to tell you why. And this has a lot to do with the expansion draft and, and, and the, the way that's kind of set around. Um, so because teams have to protect the players that have no movement clauses, unless the Rangers find a way to rid themselves of Dan Girardi and or Mark Stahl, they're going to be guaranteed to be protected. And obviously you're going to protect Ryan McDonough. So given that as your backdrop, it's kind of hard to imagine that the Rangers are going to put significant assets and, and valuable assets into acquiring a player that they could very easily lose in, in the expansion draft. Yep. Um, you know, again, I I don't want to see Stepan traded, but I understand that that's probably their strongest point, and I agree, defense is their weakest point. Uh, but but again, the way that the, the the expansion draft is structured, I think it would be a big risk. I think you'd have to know for sure that Girardi or Stalla waived their no movement clauses, so they would go unprotected. You could protect somebody else. I just don't see it happening. I don't, I mean, they need one though. I mean, their defense is god-awful. I happen to be uh, live in living color at the game, game against Buffalo. It was terrible. Um, wouldn't surprise me if they went that route, but I just think there's going to be a lot of moving parts. And really, Mike, that's going to be something where a lot of teams in the league are going to be looking at how this expansion is going to impact them and what's going to, what their roster is going to look like. You may see more movement than usual. I've said it before. The NHL needs to get rid of teams, not add the Las Vegas Golden Knights. I mean, come on now, seriously. Well, that's a whole different show. Um, Boston Bruins did a nice job the other night honoring the ultimate Bruin, uh, Milt Schmidt. He is the oldest living Hall of Famer. Uh, passed away, unfortunately, at 98 years old. That, you know what? I hope I live in 98. Um, <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> Hall of Famer, unfortunately, Bruins lost that night to Edmonton 4-3. But here's a guy who won two cups with the Boston Bruins before uh, enlisting in the Army to go off to uh, Pearl Harbor. So, you know, great service. A guy won the Hart Trophy in 1951. 
Uh, Milt Smith, not a lot of guys know about him. I unfortunately wasn't around when Milt Smith played, but you're looking at the whole the history of Milt Smith and how he played for Boston Bruins. Guy did a great job and did a great service for his country. Now, ho- hockey celebrating its its hundredth year, it's centennial right now, and he's one of the guys that's, that's going to go down. Obviously, Hall of Famer, uh, one, one of the greats of all time. Uh, circling back to those Tampa Bay Lightning, there was an ESPN article this week saying that their um, their expansion draft game plan is built around Ryan Callahan and Valtteri Filippola. So um, you may not know this, Mike, but both of those players have no movement clauses in their contracts. Similarly... I didn't know that. Oh, you did. Similarly to how the Rangers have Girardi installed. So I I think what what the the speculation is there is if if Tampa Bay is able to convince these players to uh, waive those no movement clauses, they can then be unprotected, possibly go to Vegas as the guy from Tampa. That we don't know. Um, Ryan Callahan's got three re- three years left at five point eight million. Philip has got another year at five after the one we're currently in. Um, you know that that Ryan Callahan contract looks worse and worse as you, as you move along. I'm very glad the Rangers didn't give him that contract. Um, I don't know how you feel about this, Mike. I don't think either of these players are going to waive their contract. Maybe Philip, but I doubt it. I was going to say Philip might be the one of the two. I don't think Callahan's going to get out because nobody's going to take him. Number one, nobody's going to take that big deal. And it's more and more, I think, Philip has a chance to do that, but like you said, I'm with you. I don't think either one of them. But just knowing Callahan from his time in New York and how he wanted to go somewhere and be there for a while, yeah. I, he wanted that no movement clause. So I don't think he's going to just give it up. Um, I, I think Tampa's going to be one of these teams that really gets uh, hit negatively by this expansion draft. Didn't I don't we think say this last players. year? We did. We actually did. <laughs> we did say we, this we, last we talked year. about their cap situation. It's not good. Um, yeah. They might not make the playoffs this year, Mike, and that's kind of a surprise yeah, for a team that went far last big year. Big payroll last year. Yeah. Or big payroll last year. Um, in another story, uh, it, it's interesting about Craig Cunningham. And if you don't know who Craig Cunningham is, um, here's a guy who's um, kind of defied death, a minor leaguer for the Arizona Coyotes. What happened was his heart stopped before a game. Um, and 83 minutes later, after CPR was administered to him, he got a second chance in life. Unfortunately, he did get an infection in his system where they had to amputate part of his leg. but. I mean, here's a guy 26 years old, never going to play in the NHL again, but his outlook is, you know what, I, every time I think of that I'm not going to play in the NHL anymore, I think that I could be 10 feet under, and that's a hell of an attitude. Um, here's a guy who's been given a second chance in life, and, and he's taken every advantage of it. You know, he could be kicking and screaming, I'm not going to play in the NHL, I'm not going to make all that money, but you know what, he's having to be alive, and, I, and that's, he's a great guy. No, a- absolutely true. It, it, it's good to hear that he's, he's, you know, he's around. Great attitude. This, this could have gone... Uh, the wrong way very quickly. Very quickly. Um, I guess our last point is just taking an overall look at the league. It's actually pretty pretty nuts to look at the standings these days and know that four of the top five teams right now in points are the top four teams in the Metropolitan Division. It is it is insane just how close um, you know th- those teams are and how good that Metropolitan Division has been. Whether you're looking at Columbus coming off that long win streak, Pittsburgh's played exceptionally well of, uh, after their Stanley Cup, uh, Rangers and Washington are still hanging up there. Again, these are four of the top five teams in the league. And it's really going to be interesting because two of these teams are going to play in the first round for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one's going to be a wild card. Yep. So, I mean, be careful what you wish for coming out of the other side of this on the Atlantic because uh, one of these teams is going to be a wild card. And if, if you're winning that division, you might not want to win the division no. in the Atlantic. You I might want to finish second <laughs> just to avoid be, yeah. the team coming out of, of, of the Metro. Um, it, it's going to be interesting to see. If, and, and really, you know, after... After Washington, Montreal, it's really further down the standing. You know, the Flyers are the next best team at 45 points. They're in a battle to get a wild card spot with everybody else in the Atlantic. Um, it's it's going to be tight. We'll see how things go. Something tells me, though, I think that the cream of this crop is going to be Pittsburgh. I think that they end up taking the division. Um, you probably end up seeing Columbus play New York in the first round, and then the Washington Capitals, as crazy as that sounds, are a wild card. They could be definitely a wild card. Wild card we're throwing. Things. I had an itch. I'm sorry. So well, that's all the time we have for this edition of NHL News and Notes. Keep an eye out. We'll have more dishes coming. And remember, keep an eye out for us everywhere. Of course. And again, if you have yet to subscribe, we're going to give you about two and a half seconds here. Hit the subscribe now button. Thank you. Uh, we're also, again, follow us on Twitter at Sportsbox Show. Like us on Facebook at Sportsbox Show. Make sure you're interacting with us. We're doing everything we can to make sure that we're giving you the content that you're looking for. If you have things you want us to cover, let us know about that, too. We're open to giving you what it is you're here to see. you got a party coming up. you got friends coming over. You want to have a DJ. want to kick in a little bit. Give our buddy a call, DJ Cruz and Anthony Cruz. Or all your party at DJ needs, give him a call, 609-513-6395. Tell him you saw, him, saw us on the Sports Box. You'd be happy you did. Remember, at the Sports Box, the only opinion that matters. Brian will tell you. It's right here. Thanks for watching, folks. See ya. Don't forget to subscribe.